Okay. First time setting this up. <laughs> and we'll see how well this works. So right now I'm in kind of... Um, oh, look, spoiler alert. If you're looking at the top of the page, it says a royal princess. Yep, yep. Somebody is marrying a royal princess. Anyhow, <laughs> let's, let's move past the spoiler alert. Um... So today is Writing Wednesday. Welcome to the little half hour show. And basically, Writing Wednesday is going to be me typing. You may see some spoiler alerts for the new book. You may see some um, editing being done. You might just see me typing away and kind of learning about new things. I don't pl claim to be exceptionally brilliant as a writer and most of this is just going to be rough draft so things that help with writing Wednesdays having a comfortable keyboard because as much as I like my laptop typing up here is not really great and I also have a secondary mouse um, so let's just pop this over here and we know that our clip champ is recording everything for me. So right now we're talking about Ben. Ben is um, Oliver and Mary's son. He's the youngest out of them. He's going to be one of our, our interesting characters to learn more about. And he and his friend Kitty are going to the wedding, which, as we all should know by now, book 10 is called The Wedding for the Ramsley Brothers series. So... Ben, uh, we're going to learn more about him and who he is and about his friend Kitty. And um, we're also going to learn more about the grooms and the brides at this wedding. Ben is, ben is not a groom, but uh, he is there. And um, I may have picked the wrong spot to start typing in, but <laughs> we'll find out. So right now we've got Ben. They're at the hotel for chapter eight they've just arrived at the one of the prestigious ramsley hotels um and i haven't exactly said the location of where everything is but from what i gather um it's kind of east coast so i'm thinking kind of new york area but where it is play with your imagination it can be wherever you want it to be but uh, we're going from there. <laughs> so, um, which is a problem because now I have to revise part of that because it wouldn't be a flight for her. Hmm. Plot hole. So one of my characters said that she had to get on a flight, but truth is she didn't have to go to the airport. So we have a problem because she doesn't need to be at the airport. So she, that's that's not going to work. <laughs> Oops. So now technically I have to go fix that, but I want to wait until later because I'm not sure if I want to release that to the lovely audience as of just yet. Um, if you enjoy my books, thank you very much. Thank you for reading. I really appreciate it. So now that's going to go on my list of to-do. Let's put that up here. Uh, airport plot hole. Because somebody fell down it. And we'll put their name. I love dry erase boards. Very handy to have uh, in your writing space. Because then you can jot down notes and just go, boom, I have to fix this later. Or, boom, that was the setting on my... Um, audio software or whatever you need. You can just quickly write it down and then fix it, deal with it, erase it, and move on. So dry erase boards are super handy to have in your space. I have one at the moment and then I have a big one on that wall over there that you can't see, which kind of holds all of my, you should really get this done list, Joe, which never happens, but hey, we try. So Ben is at our uh, hotel. He's basically just told Kitty that, yeah, you know, he has some family who are in the hotel business. He hasn't actually stated to Kitty that 
they own the hotels. Like, his family owns the hotels. Like, an entire group of them. Um, Ben has some brothers and a sister. She is the lone uh, female. Addison is in this particular group of, uh, I should say, generation of Ramsleys. Um, So all of her cousins and her siblings are brothers. And, or sorry, I should say male. And so um, she, she's the only girl, (laughs) which, which is a bit difficult for her. And we'll have a bit of a glimpse of her. Um, And then I I don't know whether I'm going to go into her, her book next or not, but we'll find out. So, um, yeah, so Kitty has no idea that his family actually owns a chain of hotels in America. Well, I should say North America, let alone Asia. So Ben has some brothers and sisters, or brothers and a sister. Uh, So there's Henry, Garrett, no, Henry, Nate, Garrett, uh, Addison, and Ben. So those are the five from Oscar and Mary. Oscar is in jail right now for the money laundering thing. Mary is trying to pretend that everything's fine in her world, because that's the person that she is. Henry has returned since Nate's funeral. So Nathaniel has passed away for Nate. And Henry is back since then. Garrett is running the business in North America. He's taken over that. Not that he kind of didn't already have that under his sleeve. And then Addison is like an interior decorator. um, Kind of human relations. You know. That's, that's her role in the business. And Ben is not part of it. <laughs> ben has his own business, which is doing very well. And he's kind of a tech guy. So anything and all things techy to do with computers and whatnot, he loves. That's, that's his life. Uh, and Kitty is one of his friends group. And she recently got drumped. So he's taking her out to the wedding for a weekend. And this is kind of happening over Christmas. So it's it's a long weekend celebration thing. It's going to be interesting. And I have done no writing because I've been explaining instead. Okay. Operating business class opulence. Blah, 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 blah. Ben, who sang hi? Well, you know what? It's joyous. Why not we pick on Max? Because Max is my common three theme, I should say. He's like my common theme in all the books, pretty much. Max is always in it. I don't know why, but Max has basically said, I am the glue that holds this series together, more or less. <laughs> and I will always appear. So, um, Ben turned to see cousin Max. With his wife. Uh, it's Morgan and Ryder. I know. They have two lovely children named Morgan and Ryder. Let me reposition here for my chair. Rolling chairs are great. <laughs> Sometimes they push you away when you don't want to go. But they're great. Uh, Ryder. To see you. Not stated. Greeted. Eh, he's not that he's not that smooth. Just not that smooth. No, no, no. Let's just go into introductions. Uh this is Kitty.
Okay, because I don't feel like mm, double dripping. Morgan and Ryder. I don't like um repeating too often, and I do it a lot. So I have to really catch myself on my repeats. <coughs> and like I said, this is horribly rough draft. So um that'll be fun. <laughs> You're seeing it as I'm typing it. It's kitty kitties, my cousin Max, his wife Paget, their two boys. Uh greetings. I want to say greetings. Okay. Well, let's take you. Can I move you? Oh, thank you. So, since I seem to be writing without speaking, I'm just going to narrate a little bit of um, what I'm doing here. If I can put my screen in all together so I can see what I'm saying. So you too greeted Ben as he stretched out a hand. This is Kitty. Kitty, this is my cousin Max, his wife Paget, and their two boys, Morgan and Ryder. Pleased to meet you, murmured Kitty as the group exchanged handshakes. Has anyone else arrived yet? asked Ben curiously. If you can hear a dog barking in the background, that would be Bean. <laughs> She's downstairs talking to Kathy, I'm pretty sure. Kathy just got home from work, so yeah, chit chats. Bean is a Boston Terrier. She's a lot of fun. Um, has anyone else arrived yet? Well, oh, I think people have arrived. Who has arrived? Um, We use a lot of that, so we eliminate it. <laughs> Brought their uh, boys to the pool. Max nodded. Michael and Anne went to find their rooms a moment ago. Ellen and Noah gave me a text. Hmm, gave me a text. I should probably fix that, too. Gave me a text. They brought their boys to the pool. We were thinking of joining them once we finished getting registered. And as you can see, the smoke is coming out as I think it's the wheels <clears throat> turn in my little head. And I'm taking my time, getting a thought. Where am I going with this? Nobody really knows. Did you hear that? They have a pool. Kelly told her group of kids as she and Dylan approached. I told you they would. <laughs> That's awesome. Can we go in the pool now? Asked Avery. Wait until after we register and find your luggage. Dryly responded Dylan. For those of you who don't know... Kelly and Dylan are the fourth book of the Ramsley Brothers series. There, Dylan is Max's cousin, and Ben's cousin. And they actually uh, had a marriage of convenience to start with, which turned into a very nice real one. Ben, Max, Paget, good to see you. This is Kitty, introduced Ben. Ben's doing a lot of introductions.
and everyone will be terribly curious to meet her and talk to her and learn about her. Because, after all, they're a nosy bunch. <laughs> so poor Kitty is going to get dragged along into all sorts of activities. <clears throat> My question, and I probably should do this, is to put some more description with my people. Oh, dear. Yeah. I probably should put some more description with them. It's kind of a who's who thing going on. The wedding is a bit tough because I'm gathering everybody together. Um... So literally every family that we've already, you know, all the couples we've put together, their families that have kind of carried on throughout the series. And my newbies. And plus the ones that we haven't met yet, except for maybe at Nate's funeral a little bit in the last book. So it's a little bit more difficult because... Uh, Mm, are you going to say anything else, Ben? Oh, where am I going with the direction of this? And I know I should have thought of this before I started this video. <laughs> Next time, I'll have better direction of where I'm going, what I'm doing. Maybe do a scene layout before we begin. Um, so what do I want to actually accomplish in this scene? That would be a great question. Oh, there's Cora. Cora's not getting introduced until then. So Cora is not until <clears throat> later tonight. So what do I want to accomplish here? I need to accomplish some introductions, which I'm working on. Intros. Okay, what else are we accomplishing? We are accomplishing... Um, they have to get registered. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I would like Addison and Ben to talk about... Um, company slash investigation maybe Henry should be in on the talk Garrett is absent oh, Garrett has two R's why <laughs> I just know he's not there so why is he not there? That's something that I want to get thing. But in order to do that, I'd have to have pulled away to accomplish love. That's basically what I'm looking to accomplish in this particular chapter. Um, it might <clears throat> excuse me, it might change a little bit, but that's what I'm looking to do. So this is Kitty. We're doing our introductions. They're going to get registered. Nice to meet you. Kitty smiled and shook Kelly's proffered hand. How far along are you? Kelly had a laugh. Overdue. 
Yep, poor Kelly's about to have a baby. And poor Dylan has been putting up with Kelly for a long time. <laughs> but, uh, no, they're a good couple. Are you sure you're okay to be here? Wondered Paget. That should be a question mark. Well, I will have to change that when I get back to uh, editing. A surprised Paget. I thought you were due. Oh, I'm going to change my mind on this. I was going to put a date on there, but no. We'll just stick to overdue. And we'll have to switch what day it actually is. It's fine. Kelly waved away the concern. Come on, concern. That's the word I want. <laughs> mm. Not sure beleaguered is the word I'm looking for. So Dylan had a That's why side. it's really nice to do a right click and go synonyms. Not to come so on. So what you can't see on there. Is no, that I actually right clicked and then no, I don't really like synonyms and then was going through Source? and you should have mm. been able to see the little pop up box, but you couldn't. So now we're going on the side, which is a great thing because now you can see it from mm. the source, different ones. And yes, he's a long suffering fellow. He's a little beleaguered, a little plagued, but uh, they didn't really work for what I wanted. So I think I left it with beleaguered. I, at this I really point. liked those. Um, and I might come up with something later. He's just, you know, he loves her. It's just that Kelly does what she wants. And he kind of puts up with it a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, no, they are actually a very good couple. And they're very good for each other. Because she pulls him out of himself. Which is important. Clearing my throat and stuff a lot. Not very cool. Dylan had a beleaguered sigh. At the first sign of any issue, we are headed to the hospital. So don't be surprised if we bail at some point this weekend. And for those of you who don't know, uh, WordPress, WordPress, no, this is Microsoft Word, will sometimes um, give suggestions, and you can just tab through if you want to accept the suggestion, which we just saw at some point, so it put point after it, because it's somewhat smart some days, not always. And yes, I write in Microsoft Word. I know a lot of other authors use Vellum and some other ones, uh, but... I have found that I've always worked well in Microsoft Word, so that's where I keep it. The doctor said I could come, protested Kelly. After you badgered him into it, murmured Dylan. He wrapped an arm around her shoulders to soften the statement. Kelly huffed a little. I wanted to come. I had hoped to have a brand new baby to present to all of you. Now I also have another problem. <laughs> right now I'm calling him Danny. But I think his name is going to change because I have the feeling Daniel was the name of the youngest of um, David Ramsley's illegitimate spread of children. So that name may have to change. So right now his working name. <sighs> Come on, get off. <clears throat> so right now his working name is Danny. But that's probably not going to stay. So don't get attached to it. I'm just saying, baby Danny. Baby Danny. Ready to make parents. It's a big bang downstairs. That's okay. We're just doing live. And when you have a live one, you get what you get, right? Kind of. Um, yeah. All right. Brand new baby to present to all of you, but baby Danny isn't ready to make an appearance.
Danny?' asked Max. "'Are you sure you don't want his name to start with an M?' Max has a little bit of hubris, you know. He's, he likes the fact that uh, he's the center of attention some days. After all, I did help to get the two of you together. Stop it. And this should be Paget holding him in check. Paget rolled her eyes. You are not a matchmaker. Well, he kind of is, but kind of not. He does a good job at it, occasionally. Kelly laughed. If that were the case, the name should start with T or B. I was going to say or something else, but the thing is, two of them start with T. Because it's Tiana, Tomlin, and Bex who actually kidnapped Dylan in book four. For my friends who kidnapped Dylan for me. Kidnap Dylan? asked a surprised Kitty. Yes, because Kitty would not know the story. Every so often I do save just to keep it because, you know, things happen. So click the save button. Um, I also, I know you're supposed to like back up to the cloud and all that stuff. I never do that. <laughs> it's kind of a problem. So I do end up emailing myself my stories. Um, just so that I have a kind of a backup. Um, I really need to do that with all of them, though. Just just to have that in case the USB stick ever goes and dies. And yes, I saved to a USB stick. I know that seems probably a little old school, but um, that's what I prefer to do. Just because computers die. Laptops die. They seem to have only a two-year spread these days, and then they're done. And I don't know why, but obsolete, right? We make electronics obsolete before we even begin. Okay, so yes, we kidnapped Dylan. Um, That is not how one spells that. All right. Well, oh, spelling. Okay. No reference intended. <laughs> As I've said, I'm... So I'm sorry. It seems not like we're spell. getting but, to the uh, good we stuff and then it. we're going <clears> to <throat> wind down for the evening. Because we're getting to the end of the 30 minutes. So while it is still going. Um, yeah, so that was book four, uh, Reluctant Husband, where Dylan got got uh, kidnapped. And I hope that you'll enjoy watching that part of the series. Or, sorry, reading that part of the series. If you want to, you can always listen to A Ring for Christmas, which is the book mm. number one. It is here on YouTube if you search it. Yeah, I've uh, narrated it, but uh, for our purposes, our Wednesday is winding down, and we will get cut off soon. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and you will... Uh, Hit the like button, subscribe, <laughs> as I talk over myself, and we'll uh, get some more writing tips and come back for next Writing Wednesday. I know this one was kind of boring, but I promise next week I'll try to be a little bit more organized. 
so we can enjoy it a little bit better and uh, have something kind of figured out a little bit ahead of time. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Click the bell so you don't miss any new vi videos for about writing or um, about uh, marketing your books or even just listening to lovely audiobooks.